Hey gamer, do your Aralcraft playthroughs look like this? Hello, hello. What are the odds I can just steal this shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. very low. Oh, oh, look at this bad Larry. Uh, hi, I'm Seagull. I am not a ghost, and welcome to the ultimate starter guide for Aralcraft. Alright, so assuming you didn't spawn in an ocean, next to a dragon, sirens, in Siberia or Sahara, you may now advance to phase 2. This fate's very easy. I am going to assume that by now you have your PhD in RLCraft 2.8.2, or at least have watched this video already. But do not click off this video, it, no no no, bad idea. You, you can watch it after this, no problem. So now you have to make a weapon, and go for anything that you like most, um, all weapons have been nerfed anyway. Just keep in mind, if you choose a two-handed weapon, you need to have your offhand empty. So yes, that does mean that you can have a two-handed weapon and a shield at the same time. Speaking of shields, make a shield. Unless you're planning to use a two-handed weapon, then don't. Don't have a bow or arrows or the levels to use a bow? We do not need. Make spear instead? Recipe cheaper than soup kitchen. Delivers good damage. It's not bad. Next problem you will probably face is hunger and thirst. Can never ignore. It make you grow strong. So easiest ways of getting that thirst quenched is these glorious bushes of wildberry and grapes. One is found in villages, other is found everywhere. Grapes are obviously superior, but if the budget doesn't allow for them, go for wildberries instead. But to turn grape or wildberry into juice, you do need this device. You can either do that or use canteens with filters that I most certainly knew how to use. Okay, so you got the canteen, and now the filters, yep, and now this, okay, a mix of, a good mix of both, I'd say, that's all chugging, oh, look at this, that's pretty good, wait, oh no, it still gives me the, uh, the thirst effect, why is that, filter, water after picking, oh, 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 <gasps> I see. Oh, thank you. Alright, I see how it works. Oh, yeah, let's go. Playing filter too. <laughs> Get a load of this guy. Oh, since planes have the problem of uh, not existing in the Rockcraft, and getting a rock in the early game is now about as likely as someone getting far in life with a degree in art. Um, so we can improvise. Horses. You can now set your personal horse once you've tamed it. Refer to your key bindings to find out which button actually do these things, because trust me, you are not getting uh, a rock anytime soon. You now probably want XP, but you see, XP is not easy to get. Unless you know the best ways, then it's okay. Anyway, my number one strategy for big XP is finding a battle tower, puncturing a hole in the tower, stabbing it up if I feel like it, and breaking the spawners. Very efficient, but try not to sidetrack and start killing mobs, or trying to open uh, lock chests. I have ruined one too many good runs doing that, so... Just don't kill me. Oi. What did that? Okay, how did that happen? So it was four? Yep, four. Uh, five? Fucking hell. Four? Two? Or do it if you want, I don't really care. Other XP methods include, but are not limited to, Harvesting crops, hunting peaceful mobs, smelting down unneeded armor, weapons, tools, and trading with villagers. Also, if you don't have good gear yet, and I suspect you don't because you're watching this video right now, uh, don't kill infernal mobs. Those are the ones with the bubbles coming out of them. Uh, if they have vengeance buff on them, uh, what it does is reflect some of the damage dealt to the mob back to you. And depending on how good your weapon is, it could one tap you back. Also, also, don't kill blight mobs. Yes, the ones with the purple flame, if they have enchanted armor on them, it's quite likely that they have either advanced or burning thorns. Note, your summons count as you hitting the mobs, by the way. Hey, you're still watching? Yeah, me too. The purpose of this halftime show commercial is I need to tell you to click that red subscribe button. Now, fuck it, while you're down there, also like the video. It will help me very much. Now where are we? Ah yes. So now that you have all this glorious gear, iron armor, iron weapons and shield, and all the loot, never forget the loot, because the loot you will now use to make bubbles. You see bubbles? Very good idea to make. First off, tool belt. 
cheap and easy to make, doubles down as a small tool pocket to save you hot bar space. Then you can make two of these rings, very cheap. If budget allows, then you can make two of these poor man's potion rings of resistance. Not exactly resistance, but it will give you a nice boost of speed. Uh, then you can make this amulet as well. A bit more pricey, but it's worth it if you get a good buff. Then you could always make a quiver, bolt or arrow, doesn't really matter. Whatever suits your fancy. And boom, you are now ready to do some more advanced stuff that this game has to offer. If you cannot complete the previous steps because of lack of resources, refer to this part of the video. Collect all armor, tools, weapons, pet, wolf armor, throw it in the oven and enjoy. Note, do not pick up wooden and stone ones, those you cannot smell. Also, make a flint knife and equip it in your left hand, hold the piece of leather armor you don't need and cut it up to get some leather back. It will help with the tool belt and quiver making process. Pants or skirt? Skirt. Uh, pants you can smelt, skirt you cannot. And canonically they offer the same amount of protection anyway. If you're feeling very brave at this point and you're willing to lose all the progress you just did, you can try and go mining to get heart shards. This is a very high risk but also very high reward activity. Before going into a cave, bring a bow. Lots of arrows, lots of torches, bandages, preferably a summoning stick, a recall potion, a panzer IV if you have, and always be on the edge. Or if you still believe that the earth is flat, go in naked with just a pickaxe. So if you follow this guide correctly, or at all, you should now be geared with diamond armor, diamond weapons, some nice bubbles and good health. You are now ready to start making your own story. Maybe you want to be a grape farmer, or a fisherman, or an adventurer. It's all up to you now. If you're still watching, congratulations. For the non-fake Seagull channel fans, I will reveal a secret. A secret so well kept that you probably don't know it yet. It's how to get a good spawn every time you load up a new game. And all you have to do is...